early 2000. These guys are building what's now our low pit. And now, from where this pitcher's out, there's actually a bin you couldn't see. Anyway. But yeah, that, yeah, there you go. So this is the green door of the dryer bin, as we call it. That sign um, I put on there, and I actually got that idea from David and Amy Martin and Claire and Mary Lou uh, in the, I think it was 96 or 7, part of the freestyle barn collapsed. And years later, I forget why I was in the freestyle barn, uh, delivering sawdust or something, and they had a sign in the rafters, the Lord's Day was the date of when the roof collapsed. So yeah, that's the date there, uh, July of, July 10th of 07, if you can't see that. Uh, so. 07, that's 12 years ago we're talking about, but it's still very real to us. Uh, I, I, as I was sitting here thinking 12, 12 years ago now, but we had actually moved to, to that farm uh, in 95, so we had been on that farm 12 years. And, and as we talk, you'll kind of see that where we were kind of headed, what we were trying to accomplish. And uh, so we were 12 years into, into uh, get, being on this farm and, and getting set up in the grain business. That's definitely an old picture. It all looks different yeah. now. That bin's still there. That's the one we're talking about. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the, what we call the dryer bin. And the reason we, if you go back to that, yeah, in the, up in the roof you can see there's two big fans and that's the corn is actually dried in the roof, uh, and and those those fans there. I think what do they call those? Like a million BTU. I mean, when they when they're when they have flames, they're they're serious flames, uh, and that's that's what then dries the corn. So yeah, as Dan will probably say later, that this wasn't intended when we were using where the when the accident happened, we weren't using it as a dryer bin, but that's what it was intended. To be used as. I believe Mom said this was our engagement picture, or one of them. Um, yeah, I'd I also think, point out I think that uh, that dump trailer and truck. I'll talk about them later. They were involved in a couple of stories. So yeah, we may get our maybe story. you can't even see them there. Stories mixed together here, uh, but yeah. And, and Dan, I was a little surprised. What Linda did, thanks to Linda for the pictures, she showed me the pictures and said, you pick out what you want. And, and then, and I guess earlier she had said, well, Dan picked out what he wanted. And I thought, well, Dan didn't pick this one out. And, and I know as we discussed it, uh, Dan and I back and forth, uh, if this, in other words, the accident happened 12 years ago, and that was just a little before that, well, it was soon after they were married, so so this that picture was early. No, you said your your engagement. So so when the accident happened, when they were like six months into their and they were like newlyweds yet. So just a nice picture, the old Green International, and I think Dad had just recently got that trailer. Yeah, the. Uh, this is this is the system as it is today, uh, and and when the accident happened, that's actually how the system looked. There were four bins there, uh, and we uh, when we when we moved to the farm, there was two bins there, the uh, two of the smaller bins, and and after we had been there, then we Dan added the uh, two more than uh, over the years. So. <laughs> There's the dryer bin doing what it's intended to do. That's a pretty cool, cold day or cool day for it to be steaming like that. But that's what it was intended and designed to do. Dry cord. So this picture I wanted, this was the uh, poultry meal being one of the trucks that delivered poultry meal when, when it was brought in. 
That's a Willard Goods Mac. I think it's a 54. And it's basically a custom made truck. I think it cost them more than a new one would have. Interesting note to me was the same guy who wired that truck, because it was it's all custom, wired our green bins when they were built. Yeah, this is a picture I said we need to put that in because it's, when you're going down the road and you see this old truck, you figure out when he gets to a hill, he's going to be, you know, just crawling up the hill. Yeah, I know this was a, like a 600 horsepower engine uh, he had in there. And so uh, he could he could keep it moving on the road. And it was a, like, yeah, the old truck and it just really nice shape. And he spent a lot of money in it, a lot of time in it and had it looking good. So anyway, that's kind of us getting away from our story here. Uh, but he, he brought... He was one of several trucks that brought material in to the bid. Uh, they brought, do you want to, do you want to kind of say how we got there to where we were or not? In other words, I'll, I'll go ahead. What, what took place? We can, I was going to share other stuff that happened before this in time, but I don't know what order we want to go in. Yeah, go ahead, yeah. Okay, I was going to say there's, been other um, blessings or close calls or Lord's interventions or Lord's blessings, however you want to look at it, uh, that happened before 07 and that green bin incident. Um, I think it was 2001 or maybe two. I laid over a dump trailer. A couple of these things actually happened to me and I kind of drug that into them. That laid over dump trailer, that, that was all me. I had no turkey nor one. Um, that's the type of thing, if guys aren't paying attention, it can kill them. But uh, one thing that time tends to give us is perspective. <clears throat> and it wasn't anywhere near as bad as it could be. It wasn't fun, and I don't care to do it again. Uh, the old green truck was the one hooked to the trailer, and no damage to the truck, no damage to property. Um, I don't remember if Dad called or I called Lawrence. Unfortunately, Lawrence had experience in this, laying over trailers, and uh, it wasn't long at all. Lawrence and Chris were there to see what they could do, uh, even though I only called for advice. So uh, that was one of the things that happened to us. The other one, I, another one I had. I don't remember what year this one was. Um, my grandparents had a house in Florida, and usually 